I'm going to start with a question about uh, considering the many, many important large hollow bearing trees in the municipality, probably thousands, I, I would guess, um, to what reason do we attribute the fact that there's this very small number of trees uh, on our register and the paucity of use of the register? I think we have about 23 trees on our register, whereas for comparison, Hobart has 420. So why is that that we were underusing the register so far? Ms Tyler Moore. Um, through you, Deputy Mayor, the, in the time that I've been here we've advertised for the significant trees, we've had actually very little response from the public. In fact, most of the nominations that are on the list from the last round came from staff, because um, staff are obviously passionate about the trees as well. I believe that a lot of the trees nominated in the Hobart City Council, and I'm happy to be corrected, relate to um, non-native species, so not there for the ho hollow values, um, because obviously they have a very strong... Well, they have a whole heritage team, which would be lovely. Um, and so they have the ability to pick up a lot of that historic um, and the planting particular trees for certain times or that accompanied um, homesteads and things like that. So that's why their numbers are higher. Um, could we do better? Perhaps we could. It'll come down to resourcing and how we manage that and how we encourage it. It's also worth noting that even though the nominations haven't been called for, um, it's very clear on our website, should people know to look for it, obviously, um, that people can nominate at any time of the year, um, and we're always happy to spend time with people about that. Um, but yes, we perhaps we could do more, um, we could list more or advertise it more, but it'll need to be resourced because it's um, that community engagement or consultation is very resource-hungry. Thank you. Through you, Deputy Mayor, I'll um, just make my contribution, which is that and it was very informed by that helpful con uh, contribution then, the, it's really important that we protect significant trees, not just for their environmental value, but also for their cultural and heritage value. And um, just reading Hobart City Council's, um, under the, their street tree strategy, which I'll come to in a second, um, they say that the purpose of their code is to recognise and protect trees that are significant for their aesthetics, for their size, species, cultural values, and or contribution to the streetscape, townscape, or public amenity. And it's not just individual trees, it could be trees as part of a larger group. Um, so for example, those 45 London plane trees in Fitzroy Place down in Sandy Bay, they're a significant grouping of trees. And so there's, I think, areas within our significant tree policy where we should actually be leaning into that much more heavily than we have about widening the scope of what counts as a significant tree. Uh, and including things for both natural and cultural and heritage values as well. So the main thrust of what I'm going to say is that this needs to be considered as part of a broader strategy when it comes to trees. So any street tree strategy, for example, policies must be in a framework that cover protection, management, planning and species selection, removal and replacement, community engagement. So I think what we're looking at here is one very important aspect, and I'm going to support it because, of course, you know, the, the tree policy has expired for over a year, so, or for a year, so it's really important that we fix this, this hole, but also we need to actually recognise that the significant trees, uh, the policy itself needs to fall within a street tree strategy and a broader, a broader strategic framework, so it can't just be piecemeal approach when it comes to protecting trees. We need to have a big, broad plan for what we're doing with trees in Kingborough, because one of the main reasons why so many people keep moving to Kingborough is because it's lovely, because it's a great place to live and grow up and, and work, and a huge, enormous aspect of that is, is this vegetated backdrop that we have, um, both the remnant native forest, but also um, the way that, that we have trees uh, in our urban built environment. So I am gonna support this, but I just really want to reiterate the fact that we need to have this as part of a broader context of a street tree strategy for Kingborough, and that will help inform our decisions, but I'd really like to see a, a significant tree policy really ramped up and used so that we don't have 23 trees on the register, we have thousands. Thanks. Thank you, Councillor Cordover, for your contribution.